Let's keep it moving with another special guest here at Pyro this Monday night. A real grime veteran, a pioneer, and a guy who is moving the scene forward in many ways. On the phone line, Jay Wing. What's happening, bro? Yes. Yo, Jay. I'm there, brother. What's happening? What's good? Do you know what? This is a great phone line. It sounds like you're right here in the studio. This is a clean connection. I'm loving this, <laughs> bruv. Loving this. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Wicked, man. So, um, yeah, quite a, a, quite a lot we've got to talk about, but, um, you know, let's get let's just jump straight into it, man. So, I know from earlier this week we were chatting on social media about Pirate Radio, yeah. uh, the origins yeah. origins of it, uh, how it was so important. And then, um, you know, there's perhaps a generation of new music fans who aren't really familiar with the term Pirate Radio. They may have heard it, but yeah. they might not really know what it's all about. So, in your words, Pirate Radio, what was it all about and why was it so important? All right, so for the new gen, for the new gen that are listening, basically Pirate Radio to us was like what you guys have with the... Prime Dailies and the and the Link Up TVs, you know that 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 spot that gives you that popularity that you know that you're gonna get heard. So for us, Pirate Radio was just like that. It was like with you lot have have social media and all of that. That was our one spot where everyone that's in everyone's front room, everyone's kitchen, everyone's car. Do you know what I mean? Them times that that's how strong it was for us. Mm. And not only was it a powerful tool for kind of connecting people. Um, yeah, it was also a powerful. We record all of our, we record all of our stuff there as well, isn't it? It's like the people will record their tapes and this everything. This is it. This you know is I mean? it. And, and it- this is it so yeah, yeah. Man. and I feel like it, it was obviously a very important way of um, let's call it content creation no it, it was it was it was Jay like for example we used to make that was like our shop floor you know what I mean when we used to go down to freeze back in the day that was that was where we could play all our production and say like look it's going to be in this record shop that record shop this record shop and where to get it and if you want it in from the back of the boot where you can catch us but we needed that platform of radio to get that information out there in order for the whole domino effect to happen. So it was very important. Very De- important. Definitely, man. And you, you touched on Freeze there, Freeze FM, which was like a legendary um, station here in the capital. Now, you were one of the yeah. few people at the time, because again, to our, yeah. younger, our younger listeners, this was like pre-Instagram and whatnot. You couldn't just pull out yeah. your iPhone and go live nah, or do reels. So you were one of the few people at the time who actually documented photos, videos, took this kind of stuff. Did you have any idea yeah. at the time how like... Um, impactful that was to have that stuff from the origins you know, you know what to be honest at that time Jay I was an MC and a fan mm. you know what I'm saying I was a, I was I was in there but I was still a fan of the music I was a big fan of the music so as much as I was an MC and I was with these guys I was still excited to go home and listen to the set <laughs> listen to this set like anyone else Sick. you know what I mean so me getting a camera and documenting it it was just something extra like I used to like like, like all of us we do a set I love going home and listening back to the set and just chilling so where I thought, you know what, I can have the video footage, do you know what I mean, and, and do this, and do the same thing. It, it's even more. So yeah, that's what that's what that was the that was the um, the thought pattern behind it. Then mm. now I know it's like wow, looking back at it, gold dust. Yeah, you know what I mean. Absolute, absolute gold dust. And we're going to be yeah. joined on the show a little bit later today by Ashley J, who I know you've been working on with a few visual yeah. projects as well. So we're excited to see yeah. more bits like that, bro. Yeah, man, definitely. That we got so that's going to be dropping with after Ashley after Ashley's project because basically we're both it's both free to film, so we kind of joined together and then I kind of we, we kind of integrated it in between our between the two of our, our our documents. You get me? So he's got some footage, I got some footage, and we just kind of blended it together. It's like he was doing a free swing, I was doing a free swing. It was like mm-hmm. let's just come together. Do you know what I mean? So. He's got like a oh, load of the interviews and all of that, and then I've got like some raw and cut footage of like artists spitting and rap, some rate, some some great radio clips that people need to see. You know what I mean, definitely, I man. Can't from um, uh, again as a, as as someone who's involved and in, um, you know was part of that station freeze back in the day and and making music now still and stuff. I'm gassed to see old footage. I'm yeah. gassed for those old stories or you know when people catch up. That's so important yeah. to me because pirate yeah. Yeah. radio, as we know, and even radio. Uh, to this yeah. day there is that sense of community and tribalism and that's something that you've brought yeah. into a new project um, that people yeah. would have seen around called the Grime Network so break it down for us what that's all about please bro right so the Grime Network yeah is like a place where I realised like a lot of us that work in the Grime industry are kind of scattered amongst different social media sites 
and um, there's not much unity to the, 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 the sites are very competitive we've got regarding likes and promotion and views and stuff like that and when we, it's like we can get drifted into other things like for example you might go on Twitter and you might promote your track or whatever but then you're talking politics and then football and then other stuff so it's like I just wanted to you know like in, in a busy room I just wanted to go somewhere quietly where we can just talk about this but this is what this is what I'm taking it like a job do you know what I mean when I'm promoting stuff it's proper marketing I'm, when I'm talking I'm talking for work do you know what I mean so I just wanted to have a quiet place where we can all like our community can just talk privately and it's not just the public it's no public it's just the industry mm. so DJs can communicate with other DJs and Juices like because in a network, we all in a pyramid, we all need each other. The writers need something to write about, the DJs need the MCs, the, the, the vice versa, the juices need the so. If we're all in a room, it's easy to just connect in it. Like, oh, you got new beats, cool. Oh, I need an artist, well, I need, I you know, oh, I've got something to write about, I've got a new release, so it's just working perfectly within this app. So, we put together an app, Rhyme Network. And um, we've got Instagram, we've got TikTok and all the rest of it. And we're just, we're just communicating and connecting people. Do you know what I mean? We've got people abroad now. We've got people in Norway. We've got people in Spain. We've got people in America and, and Ireland and all over England. And it's just getting bigger. It's just getting bigger. And it's really good. It's really good to see. Definitely. Definitely great to see, bruv, and definitely something people should get involved in. But um, just before we let you go, because I know you're a busy yeah. guy, new music no on the way, new projects on yeah. the way. Talk to me, bro. New music all the time. So right now, so obviously I'm part of Black Crown, um, all tight tiny, all tight 100k. Um, remember, follow Black Crown music on us on the YouTube. But yeah, I got a new EP drop in the summer called Boss Mode. Um, got some big producers on there. Shout out to Kenny Davis. Shout out to Filthy. Shout out to Hit Point and you know there's many more um, so look out for that boss mode that's dropping in summer I'm going to drop a Pro Bowl video for that called From Yard produced by Filthy Gears that's going to be a single that's going to be popping around promoting that so look out for that as well yeah sick no it was wicked thanks a lot for that bruv nice one wicked um, if anyone wants to contact us at Grime Network remember you can email us at grimenetworkmail.com yeah, that's BrianNetworkMail.com and um, on the socials at Brian Network on the Instagram. Just DM us and we'll let you know about the app. 